Now, this is my favorite game. Uh, and the reason is weird. On the internet, it says the guy's name is Harris, but it doesn't say what his first name is. So I thought that was funny. Jeremy gets two names. Harris only gets one. If Peter was here mm -hmm. and he's not, we would agree that his name is Harris Teeter. But since Peter's not here, we can't agree to that. How's it going, Scottish Demon Go? Is Bishop A6 wrong? Yes. It's bad and you should feel bad. H4 was correct, as given by Karen. Then plus 35. And so forth. Okay, so he's playing Harris. This game was played in England in 1978. Now, let's see. Jeremy's 15 years older than me. And in 78, I was 9, so he was 24 or so. It doesn't say we're in England. This could be Hastings. It could be just some random town in England. I don't know. Okay, so Silman has the black pieces. That's why I put him at the bottom. Okay, E4, C5. Should they do markers for the games or no? Oh, yeah, we should do that. Okay. I didn't think Somebody do a marker for game two. Where's all of our mods? I don't see any mods here. The mods are all banned for not being here. They don't even know that they're banned. All right, good job. Okay, so they played a Sicilian, which was the style at the time. And Harris, whoever he is, he played the Smith Mora Gambit. And thanks, Strobex Gaming, for subscribing. Karen, in Europe, what do they call the Smith Mora Gambit? Um, I don't know. The Mora Gambit. They oh. don't recognize Ken Smith's contributions. Oh. He was a weak American player who wrote a book on it and studied it a lot. So in America, we call it the Smith Mora. Mora discovered it, and then Ken Smith liked it and played it a lot. He was 2,300 on a good day. Typically, it wasn't a good day. Okay, so he played the Smith Mora or the Mora. Okay, and then Black played the Refutation Way, which is A6. A mistake a lot of low rated players make, like you watching now, is Knight F6, which gives White the advantage after E5. And then Black can lose his Queen if he wants. And in some of the games I've played, he does want to do that. See how we win the queen? Mm -hmm. And there's other traps in that variation also. But a6 stops knight b5, which is key in those variations. Castles, knight f6. Now e5 doesn't work because you, you don't have knight b5 in the key variation after takes. And then I take with the knight. And in this position, you would play knight e b5 if my pawn was on a7. But now you can't. So now black's just a pawn up with a queen trade. Okay, and black is purposely delaying the move e6 so his bishop can get out to g4 instead of being passive. This is the old school refutation from the 70s. And this game was played in the 70s. So, okay, so queen e2, bishop g4, rook d1, queen a5. Problem with... with uh, E6 is you're softening up your D-pawn, so black can try bishop F4 and E5. But E6 is fine, but he played queen here to get off of the place with his rook, and then he could play queen H5 next move and start an attack. So knight D5 was played. The engine approves. E6. Now in this position, the engine plays a very unusual move. It plays h3. I guess if I take, then you would take this. And says white is actually better here. But he played knight takes f6. The engine still thinks white is doing fine, although I like black. h3, bishop f3, queen f3, 
bishop e7. So white has the two bishops. Black's pawns are compromised and his king isn't very good. Uh, and white's down a pawn. The engine actually prefers white. Although I guess it's not going to like the way white plays this game. So he played bishop b3, which is pretty passive. Queen e5, good square for the queen, defending everything, threatening knight to d4, etc. Now, in this position, Karen, mm -hmm. it looks like white can simply play bishop f4. I was just about to ask you about that. Right, wave. okay. Now, black has two moves that make sense. One is to take this, the engine likes white. Mm -hmm. The other is more tricky. It's knight here. And the idea is we're threatening the queen with check. So if we trade queens, then you know, black's up a pawn and black has a better pawn structure. Uh, and if black moves, if white moves his queen, you would think he would defend his bishop. But actually he can't defend his bishop because I can just play queen takes bishop. Oh, snap. Oh yeah, I see it. Then you would do this and the engine says it's about equal. Okay, so he didn't play bishop f4. He played bishop e3. Okay, very reasonable. h5, the idea is to play h4 and stop white's pawns from ever moving. And that's what he did. Okay, good. Bishop a4, obviously very strong pressure on c6. Silman played rook c8. Bishop f4. Queen takes b2. Engine doesn't like this move. And the best move for white is one nobody would ever find ever. I'm expecting like Stockfish 16 to change its mind. Oh, it did. Good. Oh, no, it went back to the right move. It says a3 is the best move. Yeah, nobody's playing a3. Okay. He played rook b1, which is tied for the best move. Queen takes, threatening the bishop. Now white made a bad move. White has to play bishop takes knight, and white's fine. But he played rook a1. And now after queen c4, black is better again. Black has three extra pawns. What else? Bishop d6. Now he has two extra pawns. Okay, in this position, Karen, black has one move that gives him the advantage, and he played it. <laughs> so right. you have to see what you would do. Oh, let's see. I'm doing well. I hope you are as well. One move to give back the advantage. Somebody suggested knight d4. Knight d4 is so bad, I can't play it. Wow, that's a bad move. I can't even play it. Yeah. Because it's illegal. It's knight's pinned. Yeah, I'm not sure. Keep looking. If it takes you all night. <laughs> yeah. In, in the song Paradise by the Dashboard Light, the woman in the song says, I can wait all night. Then, like, ten seconds later, she says, I have to know right now. Yeah, listen to the song. You'll see. Maybe, um, let's see, rook d8. Rook d8 is okay. Oh, go ahead. I don't the answer that. is b5. I looked at that, but then you unprotect the a6 pawn. Mm -hmm. which... 
the the tactical justification is if uh-huh. this rook goes to c1 you can take the bishop with the queen right you play bishop b3 i can play knight d4 and still have this. but your bishop's attacks so you gotta do something yeah okay so white delayed the decision and took the bishop here and now i'll ask you again because you like when i ask you actually i can't ask you because they're both good i was gonna ask you to take with the knight or the king but they're both good so uh, took with the king yeah that defends the pawn okay now bishop b3 runs into knight d4 that's actually the engine line so he played rook d to c1 attacking the queen Black played the best move, queen d4, rook back to d1, queen to b4, rook to b1, queen to d6, rook to d1. And now Black played a very pretty win. Black's up two connected pass pawns, and the bishop is hanging, but he has some king issues, and his queen keeps, keeps getting attacked. Mm-hmm. He played knight d4. Now in this position, your queen's attacked with check and your bishop's attacked. So obviously and frankly, you have to move your queen and attack the knight. So he played queen e3. And black defended his knight, rook d8. Now we're threatening pawn takes bishop. So white played the only way to save the bishop, bishop b3, and black played a move and white resigned. What move did black play? Um. In fact, every move wins, and in fact, if it was white's move, black would be winning. Black's two pawns for nothing. But this move ends the game. There's no reason to keep playing after this move. Let's see. After this game, the guy went and bought himself a first name. For once, the chat is getting the right move. Very good. That's also a good answer. The answer is fries. That's right. There's no sound when we don't make any sound. That's correct. <laughs> if we sit here and don't talk, there's no sound. Yeah, I'm not really sure. I was looking at queen b4. Queen b4 is excellent. It's not the move he played, but there's nothing wrong with it. Mm-hmm. Well, go ahead. He played a fancy move. Yeah? Yeah. Ready for the fancy move? Sure. Rook c3. I looked at that, actually. That forks the queen and the bishop. Right. So he, he, oh, I he, see. he resigned. Then but, you can go 92. Right, so he has to take, because yeah. otherwise you lose your bishop for yeah. nothing. And then you don't actually win material, but you force this position where blacks up two connected pass pawns for nothing. Mm-hmm. So this isn't fun to play with white. Yeah. There's, there's no hope. In fact, nice. F3 is the best move because your pawn's hanging and then, you know, your position's terrible. Mm-hmm. So he resigned instead of playing this lost end game. That's a going up to Yeah, I just didn't see it. Anyone find that in the chat? Nobody found it. Well, maybe. I thought you said somebody did find it. Well, everybody did, yeah. Oh. But they asked if anybody in the chat found it. Oh. Okay. And that's not necessarily like the greatest thing ever. It's just sort of